dead one. I Damn. just realized that was shotgun. We oh! oh my, my god! He oh, got destroyed! He got destroyed! Oh my god! We. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, he got absolutely wrecked! <laughs> What's up everybody, Mr. Slin here with another video, and uh, we've all had those cool air shot moments, you know, the ones that you put in your frag videos, and if you haven't gotten one of those moments, well, we're about to fix that for you, because I want everyone to have an air shot moment, so I'm going to give you guys three different ways that you can practice air shots of your own, that way you guys can be in a frag video very soon. Alright, so when you first start practicing your air shots, you're going to be bad, and the best way to be bad, of course, is to practice against bots who can't fight back with against you. So uh, this is one of my favorite maps, it's called TR Rocket Shooting 2, and I'll put the link for the maps download in the description below. But uh, basically it's a map where you hop in as a soldier, it's just a big room, and uh, on one side there's nothing, and on the other side there's jumping soldiers, and they jump together in sync like a, like a synchronized swimming team. And basically you just kind of hop in here and practice your air shots, and you kind of just do it over and over again. and. Uh, yeah, the key for this little uh, exercise is to shoot the player as they, right after they touch the ground. So right as soon as they touch the ground, that's when you shoot them. And it pops them straight up in the air. And as a basic principle of juggling, uh, wherever you put the rocket, that controls where the enemy is going to bounce to. So if you put the rocket on the left side, it's going to shove him off to the right. If you put it on the right side, he'll bounce off to the left. If you put it on the far side of him, he'll come towards you. And if you put it on the close side, it'll go away from you. And this is a pretty important concept to know because you want to make your air shot pattern for the enemy as predictable as possible. And if you had any choice in the matter, you would want to control exactly where the enemy is going and uh, make the air shot as easy for you as possible. So as you run around, just you know, practice throwing your rockets at them, and you can make it harder on yourself by putting the rocket on one side. For example, if I always shot right side, then I can practice my left side rocket um, air shots. Or if I always shoot it on the left side, it'll throw it to the right, or I can also I like to throw them behind me and practice that, and kind of run underneath them. So you can do whatever you want, uh, but it'll just get, you know, just gotta get really, really comfortable with air shotting bots who cannot air strafe, and I know they can't air strafe, I know they're not dodging at all, but this is a great way to uh, to just practice and get warmed up before you start playing. Uh, I used to hop into this map like, god, for half an hour every day before I started playing, and I would literally just walk around and air shot, and air shot, and air shot until I got bored. Or I would turn on a TV show and just, you know, practice this. And literally just do this over and over again. And uh, you can see now I switched over to Demo Man. You can put a sticky underneath the player if you want to. I prefer to do it with pills because it's not as time consuming. Uh, but it's really this exercise over and over again. And you'll notice when you hit the enemies, they walk into the wall and uh, promptly die. So it's always clean. <laughs> you'll notice also if you hit them in the top of the head, they'll actually get thrust into the ground. And will take fall damage and that will help uh, deal more damage to them. But that's the basic idea. Practice juggling bots who cannot defend themselves. Alright, so once you've gotten bored of air shotting stationary targets essentially, you want to move on to something that's a little more complicated. Uh, maybe moving targets would be good. So I'm on the map TR Walkway, and I'm sure you guys have seen this map before, but in case you haven't, it's a map with a... Uh, it's just a long hallway with bots that run in a straight line down. But uh, what makes this particular map interesting is that it has a little area right here that can trigger a ramp. So normally you'd be killing them like this as they walk down. You can practice juggling them that way. If you want to pop them up like this, you can, just for basic juggling. Uh, so it's very similar to the uh, TR rocket shooting. But in this one, you can actually, let's see, is it this one? Activate launch pad, yes. So now when they come in, they will get launched into the air. And... Uh, yeah, you can just stand here at the bottom of it and practice shooting them down. I like to use two rockets, you know, hit the one and then hit the other one. Uh, so it's a good air shot practice. No, of course they're not air strafing, but hey, there you go. You know, this is this is about as good as it gets uh, in terms of air shotting bots. You're not going to get bots that air strafe. 
I, I mean, at least I don't think you will. Uh, if you do, if you do know how to get bots to air strafe in like S curves and stuff, and you can practice that, like let me know, cause I'm dying to do some of that bot practice for that kind of thing. But uh, you can just practice at very different distances. You can kind of walk up this hill and uh, practice shooting it from like this kind of range if you want, or uh, or stand closer and try and get uh, whatever range you want. I mean, you can you can stand you can stand here at the bottom and just shoot straight up if you want to, and just kind of do that kind of thing. But uh, I think you'll get better practice if you stand about this area. Just kind of, kind of doing a little bit of that thing. All right. So the final way that I would practice air shotting. So we, you know, we, we talked about killing bots, right? We talked about uh, shooting bots that are standing still on TR rocket shooting. We talked about shooting bots that are moving on TR walkway. And now you're ready to actually do a lot of air shot practice and. You know, of course you could just hop into a public server or hop into a pickup game and whenever someone just happens to fly in the air you shoot at them. But that's not really the best practice because uh, you don't get a lot of condensed air shot practice. I mean at a certain point you're going to get bored of shooting bots over and over again and you're going to want a real challenge and I think the best way to challenge yourself to, to get good air shots is to play basketball or otherwise known as b-ball. It's one of like one of the most underplayed mods in TF2 and I think the reason is because it's just so challenging. It it really challenges you to use every little piece of soldier mechanics that you know. Like you have to hit rockets, you gotta hit shotgun, you need to know how to rocket jump, air strafe, dodge the enemy rockets, and then also on top of that you need to practice your air shotting. And um, I actually prefer b-ball for air shot practice compared to something like MGE or DM practice because it's just soldier versus soldier one on one and typically when the soldier's bombing like in MGE they'll go straight for you and it's very predictable to see where you know to put the rocket when they're headed straight for you you know where you're gonna shoot especially when you play something like Spire but when you're playing b-ball they're not going straight for you right they're they're going past you and trying to dunk the intel into the basket I mean for those of you guys who, haven't, who don't even know what I'm talking about here basically it's a capture the flag map and as you can see already, uh, you take the intel, you deliver it to the basket on the other side, and uh, you, on the server we're playing on, it's infinite rounds. But uh, you, when they played in tournaments, they played two on two. I'm playing with my friend Zayana, one on one. Uh, she's nice enough to help me out and give me some footage in the middle of the night when there's no one else playing on the server. But um, yeah, I mean that's that's what I would do. I would I would just play some b-ball. Just start shooting rockets randomly in the air like I am until you randomly hit one, <laughs> and then just kind of work your way into it, and eventually you'll learn you'll learn how to make it more consistent, right? You'll you'll learn what kind of patterns people can and can't do because you'll start shooting rockets like all over the place, uh, just kind of guessing at first. But as you play against real players more and more, you'll get the hang of it, and uh, but yeah, I think it'll make you a better player. So with all that said. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, and uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you all next time on the next video. Take care.